Oh yeah, hey guys, it's Mark Shea here. You're watching another episode of Exploring Australia. This time it's a gear review thing. So get ready. Check it out. Rev it up, pay the toll. Following the wild line to free our soul. The UHS 125, we got a combo. Yes, as you can see, I'm sure if you've watched the last video, I'm cheating. I'm making two videos back to back. <laughs> Well, I'm going to review the shoes, the Ultras, because um, I have done a fair, fair bit of day hiking and all that in them. I haven't done overnighters, and on a one night trip, that ain't going to tell the difference, and I can only wear one pair of shoes. But I've worn the 4.5s, and I've won one. I've worn the 4.0s a number of times. Now, um, which one do I like the best? They're different shoes. <laughs> don't compare them like as far as what do they like to wear they're awesome absolutely awesome um, they are expensive um, I've had to buy like I've always talked about buying things on a budget and being you know the whole thing of go you know trying to get through I'm sure a lot of people think that I'd be wearing cheap crap shoes and all that um, no, and I did that for a while, but I've got I've got leg and back problems. Like I'll blow through cheap shoes really quickly, especially because I don't walk properly with my legs and all that. And so, good quality shoes cost the same as buying cheap ones because I'll run through cheap ones, and they'll just disintegrate on me, and then just don't help me at all. Where I'll buy the same amount for what one one good quality pair of shoes will last me. So when it came to hiking, it's like, yeah, they have that saying, I don't know if it's true, but what every pound on your foot to worth five on your back and things like that. Did a lot of research and the ultras get high raving reviews from everybody. And I've sort of sussed out like Solomon and a few other brands. And yeah, especially owning a pair of these uh, after seeing I got to even see some more just yesterday, uh, some different brands. These went hands down. Uh, if you want a boot, well, they make the mids, RSM'd. If you want a gym shoe type thing, yeah, they make those. Those ones are the 4.5. So um, today I'm going to tell you about the difference between the two um, that I've noticed already because I have worn, I've worn these out hiking and I've worn these a fair bit just around town and like these are my everyday shoes now <laughs> a bit weird um, just can't do certain exercises at the gym because of the white toe box so what is the thing with these well again I know I've rambled I started rambling these are expensive right in Australia they go for these are you can buy these now for 260 something dollars online that because very few places have ultras so you're almost always gonna have to go online for these in Australia these are two hundred and sixty dollars Australian dollars um, I was lucky I got these on special they were on special and they uh, when the whole COVID thing happened uh, there was a whole bunch of hiking and camping at places just trying to get rid of gear they were freaking out and I actually got these on special for like 170 at the time. So uh, they're very expensive, uh, but they are brilliant. Uh, they are zero drop. So it's, it, it's like replicating as if you're walking barefoot because almost every shoe has some sort of dec decline. Um, so they, they give you a really nice weird feeling. They got the wide toe box. So as you walk, your toes can spread out. Uh, these are the rain, snow, and mud. Uh, basically, they're sealed up to there. So if you get hit by a wave or something, like at the beach, and if you got them on properly, it's you know, and you're quick enough, you won't get any water. But that's water can't get in until up to there. So that's where they're pretty much waterproof from. And uh, seen that happen too with these. Uh, love the tread on them they're unreal and they are super light they are really light uh, I've got a pair of work boots that I use as hiking boots and these would be 
easily a quarter of the weight, maybe a third. But yeah, they're just so much lighter. They're lighter than any of the gym shoes I get. And like I said, I, got, I buy high quality gym shoes for my legs. And the 4.5s, no different. They're over $200. Uh, I think some places are selling them. Like when I, I had a look online and they were selling for about 190 something dollars. Now, there is a problem. Ultra, if you're watching, I don't expect you to watch a little YouTube channel like mine. If you are watching, get your friggin' shoe sizes right. I am dead serious. Especially if you wanna break the Australian market, you have to get your shoe sizes right. Even your own shoe size form is wrong. What do I mean by that? Now, depending on the make of shoe, I'm anything from a nine to a 13. I don't go by the European sizes, um, but I'm anything from a 9 to a 13. Now, standard wise, I'm a US 10. Okay? Keep that in mind. <coughs> now, on the Ultra stuff, you get Ultra, they've got a, a guide where you measure your foot. There's even a thing to show you how to measure your foot, like put it up against the wall on a piece of paper, draw a line at your toes, and then measure from the wall to that line, and that's how long your foot is, and then they you take that centimeter or centimeterage and put that on the graph and it comes over and that and according to your own guide, I'm a US 10. Tight US 10. Now I've watched a whole bunch of hiking videos and watched quite a few of the hiking videos and so many of them when they're talking about footwear they say buy a size up buy a size up because your feet swell of course they're gonna start a car well let's keep going All right so they say buy a size up so I bought a size up these are an 11, a US 11, right? They fit me perfectly. Your US 11 is actually a size 10 according to all the other shoes, US sizes that I've bought. Because the, when I bought shoes, I bought them perfectly. They, they fit me a size 10. And these are an 11 and they fit me exactly like all the other shoes size 10 now so keep in mind these are 11s luckily by chance I saw a video that was saying that I saw one video that said they they didn't get the sizing right on these so go up a size or half a size um, if you're buying a 4.5 that is so true right now these fit me so perfectly and I wanted something that my feet could expand in if they needed to and this is the problem with the Australian market I don't know anywhere you know anywhere near me that sells ultras these came from a store in Queensland and I think you know like there, there's a few stores around that carry them that's how we get them not a lot of stores carry the ultras so it's all online I can't go in and try them out. So I gotta rely on your thing and your thing was wrong because your your little graph said I was a size 10 and I would have bought a size 10 and a half. And then I thought, hang on, I better check these again. And I looked and oh, they're 11s. Well, I'll get an 11 and a half. They are exactly the same. So if you're buying a 4.5, it's a half size more then the 4.0. So if you had a 4.0 and you want the exact same size, go up half a, half a size for the 4.5s. That's an issue, you know, and especially in somewhere like Australia, we, we can't go into a shop, we don't have REIs and all that that all over the place that sell these things. So we can't go in and try them on. So you order it online, 
especially when it's so far out. Like I said, if I hadn't seen videos saying get an, a bigger size, I would have bought a 10 and it would have been too small. It was just the fact that everyone says get a size up. Well, these fit me perfectly and they're unreal. I don't have any toe jams or that, but I haven't walked hundreds of kilometers in a row. You know, I haven't got the hiker swell feet. Um, so I, I absolutely love these shoes. I think they're absolutely brilliant. Don't get me wrong, but be very careful when you're ordering your size. Get, make sure you get the size right. So do what they say, measure your foot out, see what you are on their graph, and then up at a size. Because like I said, I'm a size US 10. The US 11s in the Ultras, 4.0, fit me perfectly. 11 and a half are exactly the same size as those, and they fit me perfectly. So I've got two pairs with no room to actually grow if I do a long distance hike. So I probably have to buy more if I have that problem. But they are expensive, but they are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I love them. Um, and they will be getting a lot of use. Like I said, these have become my everyday shoe. Can't recommend them more. If you like the video, hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I've got heaps of gear review coming up. I know I sort of rambled on a bit, but I thought that was really important to ramble on a bit. Um, I hope that has been some really helpful information for you. Uh, I'm always trying to, you know, there's so many gear reviews out there. And, uh, you know, a lot of them have a lot more hiking video experience and background to show you. I'm someone that's on a really, really tight budget who if I wait to get all the gear, I ain't going hiking. So I either go hiking and do it with the gear I got, or I don't hike. So what's the choice? So I'm hoping that my sort of reviews help out, especially if you're really on a tight budget. My battery died, ah! And now my camera's crooked. <laughs> anyway, I was wrapping up the video anyway, so let's just get this done. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'll try and give you guys a different perspective from someone who's really on tight budget but wants to keep the passion for hiking alive and get out there and do it and sometimes you just got to make sacrifices to get it done otherwise you're going to be sitting at home doing nothing so i hope you've liked this video if you do smash like hope i've given a different perspective subscribe hit the notification bell and until next time i'm mark shea this is exploring australia see ya